over here. Here's the difference. It's my mom knows who Drake is and likes Drake. Yeah, same with my mom. My mom probably doesn't know who Playboy Cardi no. is. And if I played no. her Playboy Cardi, I don't think she'd like it. Exactly. You know, so like that's I think Cardi is a superstar musically, but he will never be the celebrity no. superstar that we have seen. Welcome back, everybody, to the Soul Serum Podcast. I am your yak, yak, yak host, Clay Bonin. I am joined by my, I'm on my worst behavior, co-host Tanner Mavis. Worse. You are now tuned in to the number one yeet podcast in, in the, the world. world. Uh, sorry to all London Yeet fans who might get shanked by him. Um, welcome back, everybody, to the Soul Serum Podcast, episode number 57. God damn. We're moving along. I know. If you aren't already, go ahead and follow us on Instagram and Twitter, at Soul Serum. Yep. Uh, follow us on Twitch. We are streaming every yeah. Thursday at 6 o'clock, listening to your music. Uh, we'll figure out some other fun things to do on it, but for right now, we're yep. listening to your music. Uh, by the time this comes out, we will have done the stream with Brick from Daily Chiefers, good friend of the podcast. Subscribe to us on YouTube, main page, TV page. Follow us on TikTok. Just fucking Google us, okay? I'm, yeah. ti I'm tired of Google us. everything. Google us, man. Let's get straight into it today. We want to address a tweet that Punch from TDE made. Now, for anybody who is unfamiliar, uh, Punch is the president of TDE Records. He worked with Kendrick on a lot of his earlier yep. stuff. So this is a guy this who... This is Kendrick. This is SZA. This is Absol, yep. J-Rock. Mm -hmm. All of them. Sir. Yeah. All, Bla all Black of them. Hippie. You um, know what I mean? And this is something that he tweeted on, on February 20th. Um, and we thought we'd, you know, offer some some of our own insight and opinions on it, even though nobody asked. But that's yeah. kind of what a podcast is, though. No, so nobody like, asks, but you <laughs> nobody know, we're, we're going to talk about it anyway. We want everybody to know. <laughs> even though. if we're like the meme, like we're just like talking to a wall, like <laughs> we'll talk to the wall. We'll let them know. I love I love that. meme. <laughs> um, so he tweeted. I'm curious, who are the next superstars in rap? And then he also replied to that tweet saying, I'm not asking who your favorites are or who's starting to scratch the surface. I'm asking who have a legitimate shot at being the next superstar. And he also followed that up on the next day by saying, who are the current superstars in rap post Kendrick, Cole, Drake, and Nicki? Now, this is a guy who is closely related with Kendrick Lamar. I feel like he has the credibility to yeah. say this stuff. You know yeah. what I mean? It's not like and he, I think he I think he has I think he has his own answers. Obviously, yes, I he's just agree. wondering what other people think. Yes, and yes. have ha, does other people think we've had you know people in the rap world, artists, rap artists that are as big as Kendrick, J. Cole, Drake. Right. You know what I mean? And like, it's not like what does that tier do. look like now? Yeah, yeah. And and he also, I want to make the point that he made a distinction where he says there is a difference in your favorite rappers and yeah. a rapper with superstar potential. Like, yeah, I would bias, love, bias is a bitch, but I would love for Ken Carson to be the next superstar <laughs> in rap. I just don't know if he has it, though. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like kind of that that thing. So, yeah. Tanner, what I'm going to do is <laughs> I'm going to throw out a few names at you and you tell me if they're a cur currently a superstar, have the potential to be a superstar or no chance at all. I have a list of about 20 or so artists. Um, some of them I think may be worth talking about for an extended period of time. Some of them, if they're not, let's just yeah. move on. You know what we should done for this, bro? What? Like a tier list. Yeah. Because like yeah. I feel like the superstar thing is like there's just layers to it. Like there's mm -hmm. tiers to it. There's like S tier where like they've been superstars for like Drake, Kendrick. Yeah. You know. Then there's like the A where like they're that right the there or list. like next. Mm -hmm. Then like mm -hmm. move the list on down, but like it it's all good. But like it's just it's such a hard question to answer. Yeah. All right. So let let's start off here. I think this the, the I have I have my answer on this one already. But the first artist I want to bring up is Young Thug. Yeah. 
I feel like he is in that next gener like I feel like he is currently a superstar in a sense of also I feel like we're gonna be talking about this in like basketball terms a lot too. Yeah. But like if LeBron is Kendrick, Cole, everybody, mm -hmm. Young Thug is like Giannis, Luca, yeah. kind of like they already are superstars, but they aren't they aren't quite there yet because LeBron is still in this game because Kendrick because Drake is still in the game. But yeah. I feel like Young Thug, if he is not currently a superstar, is definitely like in that next tier. Yeah. What do you think? I think he's a superstar. Yeah, I think so too. I mean, he made a whole collab album with Chris Brown. Facts. facts. Like, I feel like to be like, I feel like to be like a superstar, like when we talk superstar, like globally, like known and like, like he could, he could tour in like pretty much any country. Yeah. You know what I yeah, mean? And definitely. like, and be able to sell damn near sell out a show. I think there's also a uh, a degree of crossover too, you know, where like Kendrick, while he is like obvious, him and J. Cole for that matter are like true hip hop purist artists. Yeah. They have crossed over a bit, not necessarily in their sound, but in who knows who they are and who has yeah. listened to their music. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know if if everybody loves Young Thug like everybody loves that's true. a J Cole. That's, that's true. That's my argument against Young Thug, but I think he's a superstar. I think he's getting though. there though because of like previous albums. Like he's really expanded outside of like the Atlanta trap yeah. type of sound. Beautiful Thugger Girls went mm -hmm. this like mm -hmm. country type of like acoustic Young Thug's twist and version of it. Yeah. He did the punk album where yeah. it's kind of like similar to that, but just like I don't know really expressing himself more and like like relying on his singing and like melodies and just like i don't know yeah, construct, constructing albums in like a way that's not traditionally mm -hmm. or what he's done in the past in like the rap genre yeah so i think we're in agreement here young thug is a superstar yeah right it's just like i don't i don't i still don't think he's a level of kendrick or drake though no no probably not so let's move on here let's move to his close conspirator gunna I think Gunna has the potential to be a superstar, but I don't know if it will ever spill over into yeah. him being an actual superstar. Right now, he's with like the push and pee thing. Yeah. I feel like he has cracked a, yeah. a, a he's, tier. See, a like, see, like, there's like superstars in rap, right? And then there's superstars who mm. make rap music. Mm. Mm. that are like that's a good point you know like that are globally consumed that is that is a good point that i didn't really consider you know what i mean in like doing the research in this because like low-key like if we're gonna like go by that like low-key yeet is kind of a superstar he's, in he's rap not yet but he's but he's, not, he's almost there yeah yeah i i feel like for like the people who well but, we'll, we'll but for this conversation that. what yeah. what punch is talking about yeet is not in this conversation true true totally agree totally agree um, so I, yeah, I think Gunna has the potential to be a superstar. I just don't know if it will ever get to that point. Though, I think he's pretty, know. I think his last album showed he's like pretty one dimensional. Yeah. Yeah. That is very true. Like, like I was having this conversation last night with Hirsch, just like through text, like about this, like same conversation. I think the main thing to like cross over to become a superstar is making like damn near like pop music or mm -hmm. like the line of it. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, yeah. like I know we're about to talk to him, talk about him in a little bit, but like Jack Harlow making the song with Lil Nas X, I mm -hmm. think that was, that was a calculated, that, move. that was the entry into becoming, you know, like a rap pop star. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I agree. I he agree. damn near makes pop music. Like yeah. Pop rap music, but like today's version of of pop music you yeah. know what i mean like it's not like dua lipa mm -hmm. but like mm -hmm. you know pop fans are listening to jack harlow that are probably fans of like the weekend yeah ariana yeah, yeah. grande dua lipa post malone fans are definitely listening to jack harlow yeah yeah <laughs> the, the post malone jack harlow fan venn diagram is yeah. probably has and so all, I also I, yeah true <laughs> i just named off a lot of white artists too besides the weekend facts facts which let's let's go on to the next one here 
Um, I actually think this guy has the potential to be a superstar, even though I'm not the biggest fan of his music. Yeah. Polo G. Yeah. I think Polo G uh, of anybody on this list, I, I really think he's probably got some of the most yeah. potential to be this huge superstar. We're already seeing it. I just don't. He just obviously has not released uh, a quote unquote, in my opinion. He has not released a quote unquote classic album, which I think Kendrick Cole. I think he and has. Drake. I think he's done we've released one. Which one? Die Legend. Is his, that his first? Uh, yeah. I don't. I think it was his first like official official release, release with a a label, but it, he might consider it a mixtape. Oh tape, yeah, but yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, bro, yeah, that, yeah. That shit is like to me. That shit is like an eight out of ten, like top to bottom. Like I, there's barely any skips if if any on honestly there. the goat was a pretty and the goat good was really good too, too. yeah yeah um, i just personally like the die legend one the most because that's the one i got hip to and i just remember listening to that in the gym like it was like in 2019 it was like during a time where like you know legends have just recently passed away mm -hmm. and we're, i'm in like 2019 was like people were talking about it, the, the death of soundcloud like this post like soundcloud era and i'm just like my taste in music was just like conflicted, like trying to yeah. find like who is next. Like we're in, we're, in a, we're in a weird, weird middle ground. And yeah. then Polo G and Lil TJ come onto the scene. Mm -hmm. And like, I really like gravitated towards Polo G because he'd be saying some real shit. He can sing. Yep. Um, I think he has speaks like, to a lot of different audiences, speaks yes, to the streets yes. and speaks to the suburban kids yes. that are like, you know what I mean? Like I think his music can just transcend I think you hit the nail on the head right there. The fact that the reason why Polo G has the potential and why he probably will become a superstar is because as much as the streets love Polo G. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Kyle in who lives oh, in yeah. Richwood, Kentucky, loves Polo G, loves Polo G yeah. type shit. I, I, th I, think he, I, think, I think he already is like, yeah, like what? Like if he had a number one song in the world, like number one on Billboard rap, Facts. rap star. Yeah. Like, True. isn't that does, that, does that make you a, a superstar? If you're number one, if you went number one, I feel like it's that plus longevity. Yeah. True. You know, that's, that's one of the layers like of doing it. it multiple times. So we're in agreement that Polo G is, is, is on the borderline. Yeah. Right. Like I don't, I can't, I feel like I can't fully call him. He's a superstar in rap. He's just not like, a superstar at large a pop star <laughs> which brings me to my next artist and i feel like we don't have to spend a lot of time on this guy because we all kind of already know yeah um travis scott yeah. um he who superstar. shall not be named uh superstar. yeah yeah he's a superstar when you get a fucking collab with mcdonald's oh yeah i, I think that's probably what else, that that's honestly. what that's the separation i don't and i was thinking that with young thug because First thing when I think of superstar, I think of Snoop Dogg for some reason. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. Like, no, totally. Like his music has is well past his prime. You know what I mean. But yes. like, but like everyone knows who Snoop Dogg is. He's been getting and TV it's because shows, of, it's because of deals. it's because of his celebrity and not like yes. exactly a lot yes. like a lot about his music. Yes, you know what I mean. I that, agree. But like back then, he was a superstar without the celebrity because yeah. rap was such a new genre and he and him he was, and dr dre and tupac and then obviously east coast with biggie jay-z and all that like like they were the superstars but like when a new genre is formed and it, and it grows to that scale yeah like it's the the biggest thing out and like everybody's talking about it but that's valid i didn't even i also did not think about like the celebrity aspect of it too like travis scott is I, like he's not like Snoop Dogg, but no, but his celebrity in his presence in non hip hop areas, yeah, kind of puts him in a similar space. Yep. I feel like a Snoop Dogg, and he is has two ch kids with Kylie Jenner and the Kardashians. Like, Man. that's definitely like a move, yeah, you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like, definitely. That's I don't know. Crazy. It's it's more layers to it. Like again, this probably I don't know if this is exactly a answering what Punch is like kind of going for, but like nowadays to become a superstar, it it there has to be more layers to your brand than just your music. It has to mm -hmm. be like you have to be a celebrity, a public figure. Yeah. Cuz like that's going to get more people to listen to your music, you know what yeah, I mean? Like Definitely. Like 
There's definitely kids that are living living under a rock somewhere that never listened to one Travis Scott song in their life, and then once they saw the McDonald's commercial, they went and checked out his music. Like with the sicko mode song. Yeah, like <laughs> their first song, and they fell in love with sicko mode. You know what I mean? Um, let's uh, let's keep it moving. I'm just curious: is sicko mode Travis Scott's number one song on Spotify? You think? Gotta be either that or Goosebumps. Oh yeah, Goosebumps has the most streams. That's a that's a there good you call. Go um okay next one we talked about him a little bit but let's let's keep the conversation going kentucky's own atherton's own highland middle school's own jack harlow superstar definitely um it, it, like he's we're literally watching him transcend from yeah. that potential to be superstar yeah. into superstar he's gonna be right now he 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 is he is already a superstar he, and, and he had he's a number be. two billboard song on his own he has a number one Billboard song with Lil Nas X. Mm-hmm. Kanye posted him and got him on Donda 2 yep. within like 72 hours. Yep. Um, There's not much else to say. Like I hear, you know what, you know what? Here's how I know he's a superstar. I was listening to uh, a, a basketball podcast, an NBA podcast, and this guy, shout out Chris Vernon, he... Um, like quoted the Tyler hero song. <laughs> and I was like this 42 year old white man with a kid knows who Jack Harlow is. Yep. That superstar level. That is superstar right level. I don't think, do you, do you have any other points? I feel like we can move I, on. And we, then we also, all agree, right. It's also like <laughs> the, I think the thing, the thing that pushed Jack Harlow to superstar status is, uh, he makes music, more so catered to girls. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like now more than yeah. ever. He always has made music that girls fuck with. Yeah. But like but now he, he's really. He's all of a sudden a sexual icon. Yeah. He's a, all of a sudden. A, yeah. Like like a sex icon. Like. Yeah. Like he's to, and he's like really playing that game. And final point on this too. Is you got to make like, music for the girls bro to be a pop to be a superstar. Yes. You really do. Also his like non music presence, like the yeah, videos of him and Drewski bro. and whatnot, like, like very, like, very, I, fun, th- very This is late. probably also a, a bad comparison. I don't. I'm not trying to compare the two, but like, I think he's inspired by Snoop Dogg because of his brand and how long he's been able to like mm-hmm. stay relevant and like like keep showing face because of his. Snoop, Snoop Dogg's just cool. You know what I mean? Fuck Jack's trying, Jack's trying ever, to be bro. the cool guy. Yes. You know yeah. what I'm, that he's that is that is cool with everyone. Every interaction you see, he's just yeah. very. He's just smiling. Mm-hmm. If, like whenever he's talking to somebody one on one, like. He, I get I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Right. It's it's the it's the extracurricular. It's the southern stuff. it's the southern uh, the draw and the southern yeah. southern love that he gives in this fake celebrity world you know what i mean like it feels more real yeah i agree that's that's a great point honestly i agree um all right let's go to the opposite end of the spectrum for this next one playboy cardi (laughs) this is a weird one yeah this is a weird one because i feel like he is an avant-garde superstar yeah you're not gonna see cardi on the red carpets doing no. one-on-one interviews um no. you're not gonna see him doing brand deals with mcdonald's or shit like that you know what i mean no nope. he doesn't even talk to his fans we love that man he doesn't even talk to us no. type shit like but at the same time he is easily one of the biggest artists in yeah the oh yeah right now. most talked about most sure. talked about his influence his his footprint oh yeah in the last 12 to 18 months of hip-hop is oh, crazy you know like bro last it's it's six, weird because seven years i think he obviously has the potential to be a superstar and in a way already is a superstar but i don't i just don't think you could get is he in that Drake, Kanye, or Drake, Kanye, Kendrick, J. Cole? I think so it's I don't My, know. like here, I, I, here's okay. how I can't put Kanye in there. Like Kendrick, Drake. Yeah, I think Kanye is the the generation before. Yeah. He's also just a, a, a exclusion. He's yeah. he's a he's like special he's, case. he's a god of rap, bro. Like um, you just gotta put him. I think over here's here. the difference. Is my mom knows who Drake is and likes Drake. Yeah, same with my mom. My mom probably doesn't know who Playboy Cardi no. is. And if I played no. her Playboy Cardi, I don't think she'd like it. Exactly. You know, so like 
That's I think Cardi is a superstar musically, but he will never be the celebrity no. superstar that we have seen yeah. with other people. It's weird to say, but like Jack Harlow is probably going to end up reaching more people than Cardi. Yeah, with his yeah, music. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Maybe that, that might. I think, I think he will. I think he will. And honestly, and I even hate to say this, but like the fact that Jack Harlow's white is going to get him oh, yeah. a lot more crossover For sure. status than Cardi, who yeah. the most recent pictures of him, he has fucking face yeah. paint in his tongue out. And he's like, eh, I will say know? this about Cardi, though, like. Like a lot of people know who he is mm. because he's so talked about and he's just like just kind of controversial with his music and his image. Yeah. So like I feel like he's most loved and most hated like yeah. ar- artists in rap music. Pro- probably like right like like right now. That's fair. I would not argue against that. You know what I, I mean? Like about that. Um well let's okay, let's move on. Now, a couple of these artists that I have on the list right here we don't have to spend a lot of time talking yeah, about yeah. we can we can get through some of these um lil uzi i feel like he was a superstar he was on like that s tier superstar yeah and then kind of dropped down to the next tier yeah after eternal will take he has a huge fan base i mean we were just talking about this before the podcast shout out hyper pop daily but um yeah. like he obviously has the dedicated fan base he has the numbers he has a number one hit he has celebrity as well um, but I feel like Uzi doesn't Uzi himself doesn't want to or doesn't care enough to be yeah in you the have next to, that, year. that's a big thing too like you have to want to be a superstar mm-hmm. too I feel like those like the three we talk about Drake Kendrick J Cole wanted at, at one point in their lives maybe not anymore but like at the point in their lives before they came a superstar when they were on the come up they all wanted to be you know that jay-z kanye level and it shows because they did their homework and it showed in the music that yeah you know what i mean and uzi just doesn't seem like that's why like jack harlow too he like says it in all of his interviews like it it just shows like it really shows that when you can really tell if somebody wants to be that level Mm -hmm. uzi and cardi would just like rather play ps5 with yeah exactly and and there's nothing nothing wrong wrong with with it but for the sake of this conversation like (laughs) I don't know. I think like, but like at the same time though, like Uzi did like 400, we were talking about like like over 400,000 sales and eternal take first week. Like that's like, that is nothing to shake a stick at. Yeah. Like the weekend, the weekend just did 150 and he's a superstar, but like Uzi did 400 K like it's insane. I think he is a superstar. I think he is still a superstar until like we, like we see this next release. Like, Mm -hmm. I mean like it could like, it could take a hit. But which it probably will. It won't. He probably won't sell as much as Eternal Take because that was just so hyped up. Like that was his biggest release. Yeah, we all knew what that was. But I don't know, man. Yeah, I think I think a lot of people know Uzi more than we think. That's probably more than Cardi for sure. I. You know what? You've convinced me. I think Uzi is a superstar. I think he is. I think he is a superstar. I think. I think this might sound weird too. I think he's kind of like the Little Wayne of our era man as far as like people like knowing him just because bro like think about him like everybody like when you think of uzi what do you think of besides the music like what when you think of uzi what do you think of bro like i think of the video of fans chasing him and him running away yeah exactly yeah yeah yeah, yeah. like him just him like jumping off the stage He's just like the, i don't know the video i feel, of him I feel like the, up people on the school bus yeah. it's like, not it's not as like prevalent as it used to be because i think he's going through some shit right now but like at the peak of uzi like 2019 2020 uzi superstar bro superstar, superstar. You're right, like, you're right, like you're right. videos like surfacing of his like him just like doing the little you know what i mean <laughs> like uzi uzi shit? just like just being uzi just like yeah. just happy positive okay. just like every time right. you see a video of uzi like you're you're just like you just get happy you're right you're right uzi is a superstar you've yeah. convinced and i've seen him convinced. five times like he performs as a superstar yes. bro like yes, definitely i think he's a superstar i'm a rock star <laughs> all right let's move on um let's not spend a lot of time on this one but since you are now tuned in to the number one Yeet podcast in the world. <laughs> I had to include him on the list. Yeet. Yeah. Um, definitely it's not a superstar. 
kind of has a little bit of potential to be a superstar, sort of. He, like, you know, like, he has a chance to be a superstar in the same way that Cardi has the, has the yeah. chance to be a superstar. Like, and, and Uzi. He'll be talked about. He'll have a crazy fan base always, but I, I think if Yeet doesn't evolve in his music... And this is coming from two Yeet stands. But if Yeet doesn't evolve in his music, then there's no chance for yeah. him to be a superstar. I think he will. I think he will, too. He's going, there's a roadmap for yeah, it. There's a path He's going to figure it. it out. And yeah. I'm sure we're not the only ones in, like that's going to be in his, in his ear yes. like saying, like, yes. like we got to switch things up a little bit. And Definitely. like try to like, you know, reach new audiences. And yeah. Because right now he's just feeding his fans, bro. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. And it's working. Yeah. <laughs> it's working. He's just, he's just sure. feeding. Like, we're all eating. He releases very frequently. Yeah. I'm pretty fucking sure he, like, gives, like, unreleased and, like, leaks to, like, Twisty P and shit and just, like, posts it on. So it's yeah. just so his shit just keeps going viral on TikTok. Yeah. Like, he's just feeding. He's feeding the, the, he's pouring gasoline on the fire. Yeah. His label is throwing gasoline on the fire. There's potential, but. It's inconclusive. Yeah, it's a so chance. Far. And he's not a superstar right now, but there's a chance. Uh, Moneybag Yo. I put Yo. him in there because he had a number one album last yeah. year. And I feel like like a lot of people know Moneybag Yo. Yeah. A lot of people like Moneybag Yo. And yeah. he's had a couple of like TikTok like hits. You know what I yeah. mean? Like, so I I feel he's a like street star, bro. He is, yes, he is a superstar. One hundred percent, no doubt like, bro, about you, that. Like you, so you, is the you next walk guy around Cincinnati, just go, go walk up to like fucking to get some sushi, bro. You'll, you'll hear a money bag yo song. One hundred percent. And I think we can actually lump this next guy into it because I think it's similar. Although he, I don't think has had a number one album. Um, ESTG, another guy who, like, if you are walking around Cincinnati, you are gonna hear ESTG yeah. at some point. He is a street superstar. Yep. He is a, he is no doubt a street superstar. Yep. I don't know if he as much as Moneybag Yo can take that step into being a superstar superstar. I mean, and I don't I, know I if think, they want I, to. Yeah. I think I think he can be as big as Moneybag Yo. I think he might already be. Yeah. Yeah. In a way, maybe not like sales-wise, but like Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think he's he's definitely been in the conversation significantly the last year or so. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. And that 502 connection with Jack. Yeah, you know, that definitely help. helps. Um, now, this next person, person is somebody who I think was a huge superstar and still kind of is, but because of some of his comments, I think he got knocked down a peg. Uh, the yeah. baby. Yeah, I'm bro. He's definitely a superstar. I won't even hold y'all, man. In late 2018, early 2019, when I first like heard of the baby, and like all of his stuff coming out after that, maybe not all of it, but like the next like mixtape or two, bro. That man was on some shit, bro. <laughs> he was on some shit. I liked his music. He's also a funny guy, a guy who is self-aware, who understands this game. Yeah. But he just had to go and say some shit on stage at Lollapalooza. Yeah. And, and that it's crazy really how it's really taken a him. hit on his career. And yeah. like the, the Internet just talks bad about him. He still has fans and he still releases music. And like there's a lot of people who don't give a fuck about what he said. But, like, I think when you say something like that, I think you really hinder your ability to become a superstar. Yeah. He was, and I don't think he is anymore. Yeah. Really. Um, Agreed. What about uh, the other baby? What about Lil Baby? Oh, superstar. Superstar for sure, Superstar, right? bro. He he claimed that he was this way, this, <laughs> this Wayne's. He claimed that he was this generation's Lil Wayne. Yeah, that's probably a better... I, I do agree with you on the Uzi thing, like in like a celebrity form, but like in the rapping yeah. sense. Not I, right now. I feel and like there was a point when Uzi was because yeah. he dropped four mixtapes in a year and it, it just like Shh, man, it just so felt funny. like it was like, I don't know. Yeah. Like Lil Wayne just used to feed us, bro. Like even when like he was signed and like getting ready for like the Carter Four, like mm -hmm. he was still dropping like Sorry for the Weights and just like. <sighs> Like different like mixtapes mm. and, and his feet like the mm. features were just insane. Pre twenty twelve, Lil Wayne yeah. was Lil Baby. Lil Baby be working, bro. Lil Baby is working. He 
does have a level of celebrity, but he, I feel like doesn't, he like hasn't changed for the celebrity, you know, like, and, and obviously streets love little baby too. Oh, Another yeah. artist that if you are walking around in Cincinnati, you are going to hear gonna some hear. little baby. <laughs> yep. Um, let's keep it pushing here. Let's, let's push some pee. Just kidding. I'm gonna cut that out. I hated that. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it in. What about okay? I'll keep it in. What about future? Oh yeah, superstar, superstar. right? Yeah, like I think he's, he's been a superstar since he did the collab tape with Drake. I think he's about to be on his way out. He's always gonna be like a top two, yeah. top three tier rapper as long as he's releasing stuff. Yeah. Um, he's kind of on the back end of his superstardom, but yes, superstar. Though. Is he? I kind of think he, he is. Just ha- I mean, he just had the way too sexy hit with Drake, but that's not his. Like I guess it's his the future. He's just always around, bro. He's he al- always around. He always makes his way on hit records. Yeah. Always. Did you hear his last song, Worst Day Ever? No. It's basically about like why oh, Valentine's Day is the worst day ever for him because he's he has too many hoes. Oh shit! Um, but 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 my point being with that though is like the video and the song are very self aware. Like, it's not like he's in on the joke with us. Oh, and yeah. I think that only perpetuates his yeah. superstardom. He the, internet, the internet he loves knows. Future. Yeah. I love Future. <laughs> I, I love Future. Now, this next artist, I and think. He, and doesn't Future have, like, I forget how many plaques in, like, Hot 100 entries. Oh, oh it's it's like him, Drake, the Beatles. Yeah, he's, like, top Prince 10 in Hot 100 entries or some like shit. That. Superstar, yeah. bro. That's yeah, future superstar. But for this okay. conversation, we're talking about like next superstars, right? You know right, what I mean? Right, like, right, so sure. he probably, well, we sh- probably should be talking about. I think him. the next few people on this list have some potential. Um, what about Corday? I think, I think he, I think he definitely has potential to be. He has potential because he is in line with the hip hop purity of yep. a Kendrick of a J Cole. But, you know what but I mean? But still hops on like modern beats. Yes, like yeah. beats that aren't that don't feel like they were made in like 2004. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, and he also like anytime you see a clip of him on Instagram, on TikTok, or whatever, like. He's very well spoken. He knows what he's doing. Yeah. He knows what he wants. Also, and that is a huge st- part of student of, of the game. You can student of the game. You can tell yes. he's done his homework. Yeah, speaks through his music. Mm-hmm. I think he has. I think of anybody who has potential on this list. I feel like he is. Yeah, way way up there in Definitely. the potential. And that is coming from somebody who doesn't really listen to Corey's yeah, I don't music. Mi- I don't listen to much of his music either. But some but, of it. But I know he's got some fire shit though. Oh, for sure, for sure. But I I, I know that he has the fucking potential though. N- Naomi. Uh, oh, well, there you go. I forget what her last name is. Um, yeah, yeah, Naomi Osaka. Yeah, and he is dating like the premier tennis player, the premier up and coming tennis player, who I don't know much about tennis, but probably has superstar potential. Yeah. If I, I, if I, I actually watched a documentary on her on Netflix oh, yeah? not too long ago. Yeah, it's pretty good. Damn. And Corday was in it. Shout out Corday, man. Shout out. Man, let's talk about the next artist. Somebody who is near and dear to our heart. If you're in the Cincinnati area on March seventh, right? The seventh. Yep. Come to Bogarts, baby Keem. Uh, you can't come because it's sold out, but you can. Oh shit! Yeah, that's right. Never <laughs> mind. Don't don't come. Don't come. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna air horn that one. Um, baby Keem, I think, is right in line with Corday in the sense of yeah. student of the game, um, superstar potential, has worked with. Some of these superstars that yep. we already know has the superstar co songs and has the quality of music for it. He's yeah. he's he's right, right there. Up there. I think he's like one album away. You took the words right out of my mouth, man. When I like Melodic Blue is a great album, I would not call it flawless, I would not call it I might call it a classic. You gotta ask me in like a year or two, yeah. but like it's as as a like debut this is my debut album yeah it's great it's amazing yeah. it is great um definitely has the potential i, I would say him and corday and jack harlow low-key are like the next in line even though jack harlow's yeah. kind of maybe maybe jid 
Oh, I didn't put Jid on this list. Yeah. Fuck, you're right. He just did a song with Imagine, Imagine Dragons. Dragons. That's what I mean. That is that is superstar potential. Yeah. Like, you don't get that if you aren't doing crazy numbers or anything. Yeah. Damn, that's a good point. What about Roddy Rich? I think he, I think he is a superstar, but the last album kind of got bad, bad, uh, you know, bad, it, it bad put reviews. a sour taste in people's yeah. mouth. Yeah, but I think he still is a superstar. I think so too. Bro, the, I mean, the box, the box, like, come on, bro. That's like one of the biggest hits of the decade. It's like he had the box and then did not fall off, and that means something. Yeah, you know. Oh yeah. Which another person who I didn't put on this list, Lil Nas X. Uh, like, I don't know if we put him in the rap genre though. That's bro. and that's why I didn't he's, put him on this pop. list. He's pop. But like another person who had an obviously insane huge song and had all the reason in the world to fall off, but didn't fall off. And I think that's worth something, you mm-hmm. know, superstar. Um, Before we go on, I th- like the point, the main point I think that Punch was making in, in all of this is that like all like like the birth of superstars always, you know, starts with like a moment. Mm-hmm. And moments have to last a long time for like things to, you know, for artists to develop into like superstars, you know, like yeah. and he was saying that moments don't last any longer than two days. Like nowadays, that, that's why because that like when Michael that Jackson did the moonwalk on stage like that, la- like it's it's still lasting to this day. Like people still talk about it. Hell yeah. You know what I mean? Hell like, yeah. like. What's the, like name any Kanye album rollout? Yeah, the, that, yeah. The, the Yeezus tour and album rollout still gets posted on Instagram yeah. today. Today, right now, exactly. Like, like moments, it has like moments have to last, bro. That's like that. Roddy Rich, like the box. Like I feel like that was like that a, was last a moment. Bro. It lasted like a year, definitely. Like it lasted I a long. Love that song, great song. <laughs> it's a great, great fucking, fucking song, song dude. and everybody loved that song, bro. Yeah. And like the the not let's not turn this into a the box tribute, but like the oh yeah, that is a a moment that like your mom can like kind of like get behind, and also like your core hip hop fan yeah. can get behind. You know what I mean? Like, and that's hard to do. Yeah. This next person, I want I do want to talk a little bit about this next person, and then the last two. I think we can kind of skim over a little bit here but somebody who's better than all of these other artists that we've (laughs) named so far young boy never broke again superstar he is a superstar super like like super duper star and he is like the and people don't talk about it enough i feel like he is the most unlikable superstar yeah and I don't dislike Young Boy. I'm just saying with the way like, that I don't just dislike Young Boy. The way that he carries himself, the way that he's he, the most angry rapper of all time. God damn, bro! Like he just released that <laughs> that diss the other day. He said "fuck Gucci." We're yeah. Like, everybody's like, "God damn, where did Gucci Man come yeah. in with all of this?" He, like, he just said, "I feel like Gucci Man in 2006 I on know. a song," and now he's out he, here wilding. He is a fucking superstar, despite. All oh my of god! The crazy extracurricular Bro. things that go on with him. I think that just adds Bro, to his. Somebody superstar. posted a screenshot of like the R I A A, uh, like like gold and platinum <laughs> plaques. Jesus. Bro, I Young bet- Boy has like seventy one either gold or platinum songs. J Cole has like forty three. Future has like Future has like fifty something. Young 71? Boy has like seventy one. Yeah. Golly. Dude. <laughs> like I mean, that like is just from a statistical yeah. standpoint. Like there's, like there's nothing more to talk about after that, bro. Star. Like, like it's, it's crazy. Say what you will about him and his beefs and his seven children or whatever. But It is like, YouTube. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that they count YouTube for uh, for like points in far as like album sales and shit, like, bro, that shit is fucking crazy. I'm curious. Like, it's, it's like hit like... Like when his when his like uh prime is like said and done, his career is like over, like his his career needs to be like a case study of like how he got to like where he's at. Like oh my God. it's actually yeah. nuts. I'm afraid that he is going to go out in like a fiery blaze, like it's gonna be like an ugly ending for yeah. him to be a young boy. Um let's see. I'm just trying to find 
So his most streamed song that is his on Spotify has 230 million streams. Um, bro, I, you're, his, I went through his YouTube one day, bro. It goes on for fucking. I'm trying. Why can't I order his his uploads in a by most popular? I was just go gonna, back, go back, go back to the. Can I the do search. it in the actual search? Yeah. Go to uh, filters. And then go to ah, view, ca- view count. Okay. Yeah, the two squirrels. So, boys, so huh? Bandit does have his most streams, but I'm talking about his own on Spotify. That is, but his own songs, his most streamed song on YouTube has 340 million, and his most streamed song on right, that's Justin Bieber numbers on here has on, on Spotify has 236 million. So, like that should <laughs> should alone let you all in on like the superstar of Bro. of NBA Young Boy. And also, I just want to add, like, that one song on YouTube has 340 million views, 235 million, 215 million, 209 million, 186 million, 186 million, 125 million, oh my 124 God. million, 119 million. We can go on, okay? <laughs> like, like, it's like, it's like low key like if you ever look at tom brady's playoff records <laughs> you're just like no Yo. fucking way this guy has won 35 games in the playoffs yeah. and every other team combined is or like every other player combined is like yeah. won like 20 or something Yo, fucked up this like man that. clay like, just compared tom brady to <laughs> nba young boy you think tom brady listens to nba young boy fuck no <laughs> hell no tom brady <laughs> listens to like cold play bro or he something put he, like that well one time in like a twitter edit he put like chief keith in the background or some <laughs> shit like that i know his publicist is doing that just because they're feeding into like the, the the internet and shit but you never know bro tom brady might be bumping some young, sure young boy like some so people like people have put him like on. leonard fournette bro he's from lsu he yeah. probably put tom brady on the oh, on the fucking young boy tom brady has heard young boy yeah. in, in and, and locker, locker rooms. rooms holy shit the young boy might be the the biggest locker room rapper him and money bag yo gotta be like yeah. And Lil Baby got to yeah. be like all oh, right yeah. up there for sure. <laughs> um, all right. Let's quickly talk about these last two artists before we get out of here. ASAP Rocky. Superstar, right? Yeah. Like the crossover into fashion, the crossover into film. He's got influence. He's got some classics under his belt. That's I mean, he's a fucking superstar, if you ask me. I mean, yeah. <laughs> like you seemed like you were gonna counter that point. For no, a no, no. Like yeah. I, I feel like Rocky has like like been a superstar, and it's just like I don't know if we should like be talking about him yeah. because it's like we're talking about the next superstar. Right, it's like Rocky. Right. Rocky been a superstar, bro, since like 2012. I agree. I agree. You know what I mean? Now, um, this last one is the only female artist that I have put on this list. Megan The Stallion. Yeah, superstar. I would say superstar too, right? Like, cause like in that tweet by Punch, he mentions Nicki Minaj, who she's the next by, Nicki by obvious by all means is obviously a superstar. Yeah, and I think Megan The Stallion, out of all of the women hip hop artists that we have right now, yeah, Cardi B too. But oh yeah, <laughs> but Cardi B. But the thing about Megan is that she is a rapping ass yeah. rapper. Yeah, you know what I mean. Oh, like yeah. Cardi B does the reggaeton hits and does like the strict pop hits, and obviously is a rapper too. But Megan The Stallion, I think, is more in line with a J Cole, with a Kendrick. Yeah. As far as like, I'm about to get these bars off, and I'm about to like make your all's head spin with my flow type yeah. shit, and. She'd be beating your ass with the bars. And she's bad, too. So, like, <laughs> that helps. That helps a lot. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this Definitely odd. helps. Well, so what are our conclusions here? We, we have, of all of the people that we've listed, I think the most promising to be the next superstars, Polo G, Jack Harlow, Lil Baby, well, he kind of already I think is. Little baby already is. So then, Corday. Polo G, Jack Harlow, Corday, Baby Keem. Baby Keem. Yeah. Right. Those are Jid. like the next. Some of these people that we talked about are already on the superstar status, but I think that's like the next generation that yep. we are going to see being superstars. 
Yeah. Um, if we, if you all have made it this far into the podcast, if we've missed anybody, I would love to hear what you all are thinking in the comments. Um, I feel like we've represented most of the rap. I Loki, like I did some, I wrote down some names off the top of my head and then I went to rap caviar. Yeah. It was like, who is Spotify yeah. choosing to, to put on these lists right now? So, um, yeah, man. Any, any, any final, final concluding thoughts here? I think the main thing that sparked this conversation is that we're kind of in a uh, a music consumption like crisis with like TikTok being as big as it is, which is it's put on a, it's given a lot of artists careers. Don't get me wrong, but like people's attention spans are getting smaller and smaller. The window for moments that we talked about earlier is getting smaller and smaller, and in order for artists to like really break like big, big momentous moments like have to happen. And we need like everything's digital nowadays. We need certain technologies and certain, you know, structures to be in place for moments to happen, you know? And I think it's like, I obviously there can be more things that come up that can create moments to happen, more technologies and things, you know what I mean? And talent and real music is always going to, cut through no matter what but like just like the scale has dramatic like drastically changed since 10 years ago like yeah. when drake j cole kendrick got really big and like pre-streaming era like things have gotten like more diluted and like it's like foggy and it's hard to you know really see a lot. There's a lot of different things that have to happen in order for a superstar to be, you know, to break. We could have, first of all, we'll give you an air horn. Cause that was a great point that, that, that you just made right there. But, um, we could even have a whole separate podcast about how there won't be another Drake Kendrick or J Cole yeah. and not because of the quality of music or artists, but because of the landscape of, like you said, music consumption, yeah. it's just like I was looking at the was, way the way Drake released his music early on and promoted his music early yeah. on would not work right now. Yeah, because as technology advances, we adapt and change to it, yeah. obviously. And but how like, people how people count like like record sales is just like mm -hmm. way different now because different. of streaming and like it's, it's still getting worked on yeah, it's right still now, getting worked you know on I mean? like we haven't completely like figured it out like it was just it was easier back then to say this many albums were sold because you would just go to the store and buy a cd yeah or a vinyl exactly. whatever but like i was just like looking at like somebody tweeted like kanye's uh album sales for each album like over the years and like graduation did like 930k like first week like that's like unheard of nowadays like nobody's doing that nowadays like taylor swift is the only one who does those numbers nowadays yeah and i only know that because they talk about it on the new york times podcast like because people because taylor swift who came up in the same era as drake kendrick j cole right like her fan base is so dedicated to buying her physical media that she is one of the only people who is ever, I don't, I don't want to say ever again, but who is nowadays going to sell units yeah. like that. I think something's going to have to change with just like streaming in general. Yeah. Like and the NFT shit might be the answer. Like one NFT equals an album sale. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like that might, might be the answer to this, but. I don't know. Like it could be just like the market is so open now and like the barrier for entry is just like so like like anybody can can buy equipment and put out music nowadays like yeah. on on site like compared to like even just like 10 20 years ago like yeah. I guarantee there's more music being put out now than there ever has in the history of music easily. You know what I mean? So I don't even need to see numbers. I just yeah. know that. It's true. just bro, I'm not trying to make this like a uh, like a depressing thing for like all my independent artists that are listening, but like this is just perspective, man. Like, yeah, like it's 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 great to have dreams and goals, and you want to be like the next big superstar, but like you got to play the game, and you have to know the game, and you got to know the current climate of like mm -hmm. what's going on right now. So, what do you think about Tom McDonald? You think he's he's getting up there in superstar rankings, or bro? 
we need to send Tom McDonald to Ukraine. <laughs> <laughs> I think he, I think, uh, I think, I think he would settle everything over there <laughs> and there would be peace. <laughs> oh my Cause God. everybody loves Tom McDonald, right? Tom McDonald gets dropped in the middle of Kia. <laughs> he's just like, he's like, now how did it, 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 it He's just gonna get fucking yeah. kept. I'm uh, sorry. I, I didn't mean. To, I didn't mean to make a joke. About it. It's really <laughs> fucked no, up what's going on over there it right is now. But up, but that was pretty funny though. Uh, with all of that being said, thank you all for listening to the Soul Syrup podcast. I gotta remind you all: follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Soul Serum and at Soul Serum TV. Subscribe to us on YouTube main page tv page if you aren't following us on twitch yet you're fucking up there's a lot of good stuff coming uh goddamn run the fucking zelly video up too yeah. i didn't even say that in the beginning of the podcast but run the zelly video up Please. man uh let's get that bitch to 10k let's get it to 10k man he biting lonely he biting he's lonely. biting lonely <laughs> <laughs> bro sound like lonely <laughs> As always, I am your host, Clay Bodine. I'm your co-host, T. Mavis. We'll see y'all next week. All this right. is...